okay? She's gonna drive in the whippet and that cop finally caught you. Remember? The what? The whippet. <laughs> you was on the way to, to church with your guitar. And you didn't know it was the state patrol behind you. Oh, that's when I raced. Yeah. All right, can you, can you start telling that story? Right there. Sarah's gonna, Sarah's making a movie. Well, I got as far as St. Paul, <laughs> and I had to wait at the Amishman to let his cattle cross the road. Yeah. And while I'm sitting there waiting for this, this Plymouth coupe pulls up in back of me, and I thought it was just a regular guy, you know, in a, in a, in a coupe. I didn't see the red ball on top of the on top of his car. In them days, back then, they didn't have let bars, you know. They just had a red ball up there, and they turned that on. But he didn't, there was no reason to turn it on, so I thought it was just a guy. So I was going to have a little fun. So when we started out, after the cow got across the road, I was going over to Play my guitar at the church in Salisbury where Grandpa and us had went after we quit going to St. Paul. And uh, so I thought, have a little fun, so we start going. And mostly all downhill, clear into Salisbury. Man, I was really hammering that whippet boy. Then there was a guy come walking up the road. He was over here on this side, so I pulled way over on this side because we was really tagging me and him, boy. And so he noticed that, that patrolman noticed what I did when I pulled over, you know. So we went down into Salisbury right there where Grandma and I always went to Harv Newman grocery store for our groceries. And there you had a, there was a T road where it turned off and went up into Salisbury to the church house. And you had to cross the Castleman River Bridge. And <laughs> I went around a turn and it was too quick there. And the whippets started coming up like this here off the ground. And I thought, oh my God. I'm going to wreck. And here, the guys that knew me, because, you know, I was over there at that store all the time with my grandmother, they were sitting on the steps of the store, and they knew that car, that whippet, and they saw this. And, man, I didn't know that. So the car came back down after I left off the gas Crossed the bridge, went through the valley a little, and up. It, from there, it was uphill to the church house. And just as we got across that bridge and got out of that little gully there, then I saw that red light. He turned it on. Oh, my God. Oh, Pennsylvania State Trooper, the worst there is. And man, I just sunk. I didn't know what to do. Because I thought, oh, I'm going to get a ticket or maybe get in jail or whatever. Because, I, man, we were flying, you know, him and I. So he was so nice. He come up, bid me the time, wanted to see my license, wanted to know where I was going. I told him. He saw my guitar. For the case, whichever was in the back seat, I didn't, I didn't know whether I had it in the case or not. I think I did. And I told him I was on my way to practice up there because I played in the Sunday school orchestra or the whatever you call it in them days. So he told me, he said, well, you know, going pretty fast. And he said, when you was coming down the hill up there, he, he, he went on the wrong side of the road. I said, well, 
there was a guy walking over there and I said, I wanted to be sure if something happened. And he said, you know what? He said, you did a smart move. Mm -hmm. That was real good of you. And me and him chatted for a little bit. He never gave me a ticket. And I thought, oh my God, I don't believe this. So he let me go and just told me to slow her down. <laughs> yeah. And man, I, I don't know, for a Pennsylvania State Patrol, I must have been one of the first that he ever let go because, man, I was, I was mowing with that. <laughs> the, the speedometer and that whip wouldn't work, you know, it just fly back and forth. It would whip back and forth. Oh yeah, they don't they don't register in them old cars. So I didn't know how fast I was going. One twenty. I should have asked him how fast was I going, but I didn't. He might have gave you a ticket then. So I didn't uh, get a ticket, but I didn't go that way home. Whoa, 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 whoa! And anyway, uh, what are you doing there? Quit shaking. I don't want all them fleas in my house. So anyway, that was the end of that story. I never did tell my grandpa and grandma. Uh-oh.